What would be three questions, if you could only ask three questions to a human being to figure out if they're telling a lie or telling the truth, how would you start those three questions? What would they be? Ted, T-E-D, tell me, explain, describe, and then I would fill in the rest. Tell me. Tell me what you did last night, rather than who did you out with last night or were you with Sam last night? So tell me what you did last night. Uh, Explain to me how important this relationship is to you. Describe to me what you want in this business partnership. Those questions allow people to tell a story. So if you really want to read someone out, read somebody, you want them to tell you a story. So the more I can get you to tell me a story, I hear you, I'm watching you, I'm getting your mannerisms mm-hmm. down, everything. But then you're also telling me what is important to you, what is of value to you. And then when you do that now, I don't have to sit there and guess and figure out, oh, how should I start my business pitch with Lewis? You already told me the things you like, Mm. and so I can come in and speak to you in an intelligent way rather than trying to guess what, what to say. So ideally, when you start a conversation, and this could be for anything, it's not just catching a lie, this is really just trying to start a conversation, TED, T-E-D, tell me, explain, describe. You start Mm. big, you get people talking and telling you stuff, even though you're like, I want to know this specific thing. But if I ask this specific thing, this person's going to shut down on me. So I can't go straight for that. So what you do is you narrow it. You get closer, you get, you go from vague to, you know, more, you know, accurate to more accurate to then in the end, you get to that direct question because you've worked them to that point. So for example, if you had a case where somebody was murdered or killed, right? And you had a suspect, you wouldn't say, did, did you, you kill her? <laughs> you would never say that. In fact, that would, you wouldn't get there to like maybe two hours into the conversation. That's like the, you, you, you get there, it's over time uh-huh. because it's, it's, it's a serious thing. It's an ugly word. You know, I might not even say, did you kill her? Did you hurt her? Did you harm her? Did something happen? And I would get you, so I would never ask it that way. Mm. You get the person to give you admissions. Like, for example, yes, I was there. I was at the house. Or yes, I did this. You know, you want them to give you a little bit. And then eventually you get more admissions, more admissions. You start to paint a picture. And then you you never actually have to ask them, did you. you kill they eventually tell you. So you were at the scene, you were there at the same time, you were holding the knife. <laughs> they tell you all right. of it. <laughs> but you walk, them, you walk them through that process. And so when you watch these TV shows or when you ask somebody a direct question and you want a direct answer and you don't get it, this is why. It's work. It's a lot of work to connect with people, read people. And I think that's why, and I think society makes it seem like, do these three tricks and you'll have people eating out of your hand and it it doesn't work, it's not true. And this is why people struggle because they're looking mm. for the easy way when it's really about human behavior. The person across from you, like understanding them, being curious. Curiosity is wonderful. So let them tell you stuff, ask questions because you're curious and then you'll get more information rather than try, trying to go for like exactly what you want to know. And then the other thing too that helps with Conversations is something called adaptability, mm. which a lot of people don't have. Like if I have a con- I have a conversation with you and I specifically want to know one thing, mm-hmm. but you want to tell me a whole other story around it, people don't have the patience. And so like, no, 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 no. We're talking about something else. Like stick stick to the topic. And when you do that, you you break a rapport, you mm. hurt the conversation. So it a part of it is being patient. Let them take you a little bit on a journey, and then slowly you can bring them back to where you want. But sometimes we come in so rigid, no, no, I have to talk about this, Mm. this is the topic, and you're not able to adapt. So adaptability is being, is allowing a person to take you where they wanna go, letting somebody sit in the driver's seat for a little bit. So you're telling me when my girlfriend is arguing with me about one thing, but then doesn't wanna address it and takes it around the, the, uh, the playground of all these other conversations, I, I get to listen to all those things to get it back to where I want to go to. Perhaps. As opposed to, babe, let's just focus on the problem right here. Well, it sounds actually like your girlfriend is actually 
more of an identity based person. Mm. What so does that mean? Okay, so there's instructional, there's identity. So if I'm talking to you and I want to tell you, you know, you want to tell me basically, Evie, if you stop talking to this person, your life will be easier, right? You know, cut this person out of your life, right? And I'm like, no, I want to tell you how I feel. No, mm. this makes me feel this way. This makes me feel that way. But you don't know. And you're just kind of like, all you have to do <laughs> is cut them out of your life. Cut this person out of your life. Or all you have to do is this one thing, problem solved. You are instructional. Let's just get to the point. What do we got to mm -hmm. do to fix it? One, two, three, done. Identity is, I don't want to hear that. I want to take you on the journey <laughs> with me to tell you how I feel. This person or when we are in that space, this, this means this person just wants to tell you how they're feeling. They want to tell you about their identity. What's happening is about their identity. So they don't want, she doesn't want your solution. No, she doesn't no want you to tell you what to do. She wants you to listen to her. Mm -hmm. And so just, it's not a, even about solving it. Right. And so I think that's another place where we get stuck. We like, here, here's the solution. And it's like, no, no, I don't want that. And you're like, but you're telling me you have this problem. If you just do this, you're instructional, their identity. What are you? I'm typically instructional. I'm very like, just tell me what I need to know. I don't need to go through the circle. But when I speak to other per people and I realize that their identity or in that moment, they want to tell me this whole story. And I'm just like, dude, all we got to talk about this one little thing problem solved. I let them go. Wow. If you have the patience. It depends what, <laughs> what the topic is, but she's identity based. So I think every time you talk with her, if you see that she's like not wanting to get to the point and figure out the solution where she just wants to tell you about her feelings, how this makes her feel or how this hurts her or, you know, if it's about her, her identity, then that's what she's doing. It's mm -hmm. not about the solution. Whether you were in uh, the Secret Service doing an interview or